On 24th of February 2022, Russian leader Vladimir Putin made a decision that was not good for Russia's diplomacy, people and military. Russia entered Ukrainian territory on 24th of February 2022 to invade Ukraine. Following the decision for war, the Russian army lost a large number of military personnel and a lot of equipment. The Ukrainian army continues to inflict losses of military personnel and equipment on Russia. In addition to the soldiers and equipment it lost, Russia also faced many economic sanctions. These situations affected the Russian economy very negatively. The main reason why the Russians lost so many military personnel was that they sent a large number of inexperienced Russian soldiers to the front. Inexperienced Russian soldiers were easily killed at the front. In addition to inexperienced soldiers, the Russian army also lost a large number of high-ranking soldiers. The Russian army lost a lot of soldiers, especially towards the end of November. Do you think these military losses will continue in December? The number of military personnel lost by the Russian army since the beginning of the war has exceeded 330,000. From the beginning to the middle of the war, Wagner forces fought with Russian troops against Ukraine. Many Wagner mercenaries also lost their lives. Recently, some Wagner soldiers have been fighting alongside the Russian army on different fronts. This situation is criticized by the Russian people. While intense clashes continue to take place on the front line, strategic battles continue and despite great losses, Vladimir Putin has not stepped back and does not seem to step back. It is wondered how Putin, who has lost many soldiers with his wrong decisions, will continue the war. The Russian army has lost 337,220 soldiers since the beginning of the war.